Hello. Oh. My gosh, that was dramatic. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome. I'm just going to do this twice because we need to turn on some cameras. <laughs> and so this first one, Winston's going to run up and turn on the camera. Thanks, Winston. Thanks, Winston. We got this. Um, so sorry. Hello everyone and welcome to Musical Starters. I'm Joe Allen. <laughs> My name is AJ O'Neill. I will be your host. And today is the first in a new series of new musical bunches hosted by Joe Allen and supported um, pa um, with patrons um, are the really useful group and what's on stage. Uh, curated by myself and the idea is to bring new musical writing which hasn't been heard um, to people who might not otherwise get to hear it, basically. Uh, I'm a writer myself, and I want to give myself and other people like me an opportunity to showcase the work to their friends, family, and also industry professionals who might be interested in seeing the work taken to the next stage. Um, so we're starting off today with our very first one, which is Unicorn the Musical, which is written by <laughs> myself. And, uh... <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so it's written by myself and by the lock, things over here. Um, um, so normally, this is a bit of a weird one to start off with because normally what would happen is I, I would interview the person who's written the show, but unfortunately he's me. So Simon is going to step into my role as interviewer and, um, and he's going to interview me about the show. So ladies and gentlemen, Simon Block, the you look quite Hi, Simon. Hello, Simon. Glad to meet you here. Oh my god, right? Um, right, so... Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the musical? Sure. So Unicorn Musical is a story of a trans woman named Ellie, and it's set in New York. Basically, it's about her and her friends and her family, and she starts a romantic relationship with someone which kind of forces her to re-examine her past and present in an effort to have a happier future. Okay, and do you want to tell us about the kind of central themes of the show? Okay, so the central theme of the show is basically, there's a few, it's sort of family and the family you choose and how important it is to have people in your life who get you for you, and also the idea that being other, being different, is a thing that deeply affects everyone, and you need to be able to work through what that means to be able to get on with your life. So why this story? Why this topic? Um, trans rights are a big sort of public issue at the moment, and things that people are hearing about for the first time in a lot of cases, um, and we, you, <laughs> you actually, found a story about a trans child in, um, who had an identical male twin, she's, she's a female, um, had an identical male twin and we were talking about writing a musical about that because we felt that trans stories need to be told at the moment. It's a really new topic for musical theatre, there aren't very many trans musicals, not, not really any, and those people in musicals who tend to be trans or who could be considered trans tend not to have a very happy story, so we thought it was really important to tell a positive trans story, which is what this is. Um, and also the themes of just being different really resonated with me and with you. <laughs> um, because, you know, as if you're anything, if you're any minority, be it gay, be it um, black, anyone who's not a white, straight man aged 45 to whatever, um, can probably, you know, understand that it's difficult to be different. So this is a story about kind of sharing that. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm talking too much. Those of you who don't know AJ, he talks too much. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry. Um, so I, I think talking about the experiences of people, um, there is a responsibility that comes with that, particularly if it's people who maybe have different life experiences to 